What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be looking at the Tableau Data Analyst Certification. Now, if you're a fan of the channel and you've watched some of my videos, you most likely know how I feel about certifications. I think about 95% of them are completely useless, uh, but there are a few that I recommend and the Tableau certifications as a whole, and they have many, are ones that I do recommend. Now, in the past, I've talked about the Tableau Desktop Specialist Certification, but at the end of 2021, they came out with a beta for a data analyst specific certification. And so what we're gonna be doing is talking about some of the similarities and some of the differences between those two certifications, and I'll recommend whether I think this new certification is worth it. But before we jump into it, I wanna give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, and that is Coursera. And honestly, I have learned a ton of Tableau from Coursera, specifically from this one course that I took, uh, which is actually a specialization, and that's data visualization with Tableau. I cannot recommend that course enough. I've probably gone through it about three times by now because it's just honestly fantastic. And so I will leave a link in the description if you want to check that out. Again, huge shout to Coursera for sponsoring this video. Now, without further ado, let's jump on my screen and take a look at the certification. All right, so let's jump right into it. We are on the Tableau website and we are looking at the certifications page and they have several certifications. This is the one that I was talking about. That's the Tableau uh, desktop specialist certification. This is the brand new data analyst certification, and they have other ones for certified associates and server consultant and architect. But I'm guessing if you're watching this video, that is probably not what you're here for. So uh, I'm going to most mostly be looking at this one today, but we're going to compare it to the, uh, you know, the specialist desktop certification because that one's been around for a while. And that's one that I have recommended in the past. So let's take a look at a little bit of information about this one. It costs two hundred and fifty dollars, which is quite a bit more expensive than the you know the desktop special certification. Uh, it's expected or kind of it wants you to have good experience with it, right? You, six months experience, um, and the I'll pull it up real quick. This is the desktop special certification. It only recommends three months, and it's a hundred dollars. So that is. Quite a big difference um, in, in terms of cost. It, it's just, it's specialized. It, of course, is going to have different information. We'll get into that in a little bit. But it's, you know, it's a $250 compared to $100, um, which is, you know, a lot of money in my opinion. The uh, This certification has no expiration date. So once you get it, you have it forever. Um, but for this data analyst one, it only lasts for two years. And that's probably because they're going to be updating things. They're going to be improving things. And then, you know, and they also just want you to take it uh, more often, right, to maintain that certification. Whereas this one is more of a generalized certification. Um, it just shows that you know what you're doing. Um, and this one's a little bit more specific, data analyst specific. Uh, and I'll talk about that in just a little bit. Um, so, you know, there, just in terms of cost, it is pricey. $250 to me is a lot of money to spend. I have seen ones that are more expensive, like $500, $750. Some of those Microsoft ones get expensive. Um, but, you know, that's up to you. I mean, if you want to spend $250, uh, if you're okay with spending $250 versus $100, um, you know, right away, that may be fine. Uh, but we'll kind of get into some of the more, the details of it to see if it's really worth that cost. Because uh, again, I, I think it's quite a bit more. Um, we are looking at the, uh, basically the blueprint or the exam guide for the data analyst exam or the certification. So who is this for? Uh, this one is for data analysts who are working with stakeholders. They need to know, and this is pretty important, you need to be able to know how to use Tableau Desktop, Tableau Prep, and either Tableau Server or Tableau Online. And here are the things that they're going to be testing you on. And this is kind of uh, mentioned several times in this, uh, this guide. You need to be able to connect the data sources, perform data transformations, explore and analyze data, and then create meaningful visualizations that answer key business questions. Uh, and again, these are the things that they test on. And if you look and you compare that to the desktop specialist uh, certification, which is this one right here, it's basically just like, hey, as long as you have kind of a good, uh, you know, generalized knowledge and understanding of Tableau, you should be all right. That's basically what it says here. Um, and it's just for people who, you know, have been applying it for a few months. There's no requirements, no prerequisites. Um, and that's it. That's really, that's really all it gives you for their target audience. They're just people who want to learn Tableau and show that they know how to use Tableau. Um, this one is more specific because it's kind of the whole process from the very start to the very end. Now, 
why do you need to know all those things and why don't they mention that in the generalized one? Well, let's go right down here to this exam format and it'll kind of tell us. I'm going to start with this one real quick. Um, this is the desktop certification. It's only 60 minutes long. It's only multiple choice or multiple response. So it's just clicking an answer. That's it. Uh, and then you immediately get your answer back. And if you score above a 750, you passed. And that's it. Uh, it it's pretty straightforward. Uh, but the data analyst certification is just it's much more in depth. Uh, it's 120 minutes, so twice the time. Uh, you have to do a knowledge base, which is multiple choice, multiple selection, and active screen, where you have to kind of build it out, drag and drop, um, things like that. And then you have an actual lab. So right here is a hands-on lab. So there is a section of this where you're going to have to build out a visualization and someone is going to have to look at it and make sure that it's correct. And so if you look down here this like on the, in the scoring, um, you do have to still pass out a 750, but the scoring is done differently. Someone is going to actually have to look at this, grade it, rate it, and then you get your score back within, I think it says 48 hours. Uh, so you won't actually know if you passed uh, until maybe like a day or two later. And that's because this one is is just um, it's very different. It's not multiple choice. This is a hands on exam. And so that is definitely one of the biggest differences in this. It's that you are really going to have to know this because, you know, some people are really good at just studying for an exam. They can get it. They can understand it. They can, um, you know, take a course and then you're done. But for the data analyst certification, you were going to have to know how to use it. And that's why they're recommending you have six months experience using it. Because you're going to have to know some of the nuances. You're going to have to know how to actually build things with that hands-on lab. And so if you've never done that before and you've just taken a course, the general or, or the desktop specialist certification, that one is going to be much more your speed. If you have hands-on experience, you or you definitely need hands-on experience to get this one right and, and to do well on it. Uh, let's look a little bit further uh, right here. Now, that is by far... Uh, uh, the biggest differences and, and the information that's like you need to know, right? Because you're going to need to know all the things that they just mentioned, Tableau Desktop, Tableau Prep, um, you know, Tableau Server, I think. Uh, let me let me look real quick because I forgot. Uh, Tableau Server or Tableau Online, right? You are going to need to know those things uh, for this exam. So they have a, uh, a basically a readiness program that you can purchase and in a with that, it comes with the training and the certification bundle. Now, is this a good deal? Uh, I'll let you be the judge of that. Uh, it does cover a lot of stuff, and, and that's right here. It covers a lot of stuff, all things that you need to know. Um, and in the actual training, they take you through these. Um, they're, they're different. They have desktop one, desktop two, prep one, and then, of course, all these as well. Um, if I just click on one of these randomly, you can go and you're going to see exactly what you need to know for these exams. It's no secret. They're not trying to trick you in any way, but they are telling you this is what you need to know. And so you can get kind of a, 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 over, a general guideline to what you need to know just by clicking on these for free. But the actual um, readiness is going to take you through a course. It's going to have a lot more information. Um, let me scroll down and kind of show you what you get with that because it talks about it right here. You get a 90 day access and exclusive e-learning content for exam prep, a bi-weekly live instructor session, 120 practice questions, dedicated community forum. You get two vouchers for the exam. So if you fail the first one, you can take it again for free, right? Um, so that's $500 worth. So you two exam uh, vouchers. If you fail the first one, you don't have to pay for it again. It's like $500, right? Um, and then you also get an extended trial of the Tableau desktop and Tableau prep software. And all of this for the low, low price of $1,000, which, whew, look, I, when I was first starting out, $1,000 to me was like two months of all of my expenses combined. Like, I, it really was. I would never, ever, ever have paid for this. Um, now I have a little bit more money. I still don't know if I would pay for this. I really don't. It's $1,000. Like, that's a lot of money to me. But everyone's in different financial situations or, or, you know, does money differently, right? I'm just going to say that. So $1,000 to you may be worth it. To me, personally, I don't know if I can recommend this $1,000 bundle that they have. Um, it sounds like some great stuff. And I'm sure you will learn a lot. But for me, like 
you know, in the sponsorship that I called out at the beginning, I've taken the, uh, the Coursera data visualization with Tableau specialization. I think that would probably be almost enough, right? And that one costs like, what, $40 a month. Um, and it's a lot cheaper than a thousand dollars. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. I, I tend to be a stickler with money. I tend to not want to spend that money, but if you do, go for it. I'm not telling you not to. I'm sure this is amazing. Like I, it's probably incredible. It's just a thousand dollars. So, uh, like I said, uh, then they have all these free ones. So you can go and check out what you're going to be learning in the actual, uh, readiness program. So, you know, again, I'm just trying to cover everything that they have for this. Uh, and you know, I want you to kind of have a full picture of everything that you can get and all the things associated with it. To me, some of the biggest things are, you know, the biggest differences are it's going to be much more difficult. It really is. Uh, it's a lot longer, a hands-on lab, which, um, this, uh, the desktop specialist doesn't have, and it's just going to be, it's going to be more advanced. You're going to need to know things that you don't need to know in the specialist one. So now that we've looked at the Tableau Data Analyst certification and kind of compared it to the Desktop Specialist certification, what are my overall thoughts and my recommendations? My overall thought is that it is fantastic and a really good sign for all the data analysts out there that they're creating a data analyst specific certification. To me, that's just a really good sign. And honestly, because this is one of the few certifications that I actually recommend out of just a small handful, I think overall the certification looks really good. It's going to kind of test you in some key areas and it's going to kind of push you to know that information more. And so it just shows an even better specialization and knowledge of the software. So overall, I really like it. Now, do I recommend taking it? Uh, I think that if you have the money and you don't mind, you know, studying that much longer or doing it, I think it's worth it. I still recommend the desktop specialist certification. I still think it is a really good certification to get just to show that you know Tableau and you can put that on your resume. This one may be even better, but again, it's brand new. So, you know, you're gonna be one of the first people to take it. Uh, so putting it on your resume may not have as big of impact as in like a year when it's more established. But again, I, I, overall, I think that if you have $250 and you're looking for certifications to get, this one is honestly a really good one to get. So that is my review of this new certification. I really hope it is helpful. Again, huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, Coursera. You guys are fantastic. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below, and I'll see you in the next video.